Hello learners, I hope you are fine. This is mathematics for junior secondary. With me is a question coming from 2022 internal examinations for grade 9 and this was question 1a paper 2. Please follow through. Given that matrix 1, 3 we have another matrix, 3y is equal to 9, matrix 9. Find the value of y. They want us to find the value of y, the number that should be here. Where do you start from? Copy the question. First, 1, 3, 3y three, is equal to matrix 9. Now, look at the two matrices that have been given. In between the two matrices, there's no sign. What should come into your mind if there's no sign? They are asking you to multiply. So please, I want you to understand that. If there is no sign, it means multiply. So you are going to multiply these two matrices equate to 9 then you will see what will follow. The question now is, how do you multiply matrices? The first thing that you need to do is to identify their orders. So identify the order of this matrix, identify the order of this matrix and this matrix. Okay? How do we go about it? Order of a matrix is always given by the number of rows, that's the first one, multiplied by the number of columns. So, look at this matrix that we have here. How many rows are here? One. Only one. These are rows, then these are columns. Okay? So, we only have one row. So, we are going to say one by... How many columns do we have? One, two. So we have 2. So the order of this matrix is 1 by 2. Please don't multiply. Do not multiply 1 times 2 to say 2. Uh -uh. It is the order that we are giving. Come to this matrix here. Let's identify the order. How many rows do we have? 1, 2. So we have 2 by 1 column. So the order of this matrix is 2 by 1. What about the other one here? 1 by 1. So this is a 1 by 1 matrix. I hope you are following me. From here, now that we know the orders of all the matrices that we have, how are we going to use this in our multiplication? I want you to know that this second number and this first number should always be the same, always be the same. If they are different, for example, if you have a 2 here, then here you have a 3, don't waste time. The two matrices cannot be multiplied. It means there is a problem with the question. And it will be given as a free mark. So, here always this number and this must be the same, like the way it is here. I've got a 2 here, also a 2 here. Therefore, the two matrices can be multiplied. This is what is going to tell me if the matrices can be multiplied or not. Okay, so here I'm saying they should be the same, these two. What about the remaining two numbers? The first one here and the last one. These two are now telling me that when I multiply, the two matrices. The answer that I'm going to get, this should be the order. So after multiplying, the order of the answer should be a one by one. Are you seeing that? Look at this, one by one. Now let's multiply and see if we are going to get a one by one. How do we multiply? Row by column. So row by column. So one times three 1 times 3, have you seen that? Plus 3 times y, 3 times y, like this.
is equal to 9. We simplify here. 1 times 3 is 3 plus 3 times y is 3y is equal to 9. Remember, these are not like terms. Therefore, you cannot add them. Don't say 3 plus 3y is equal to 6y. No, you cannot add. There is y here. Here, there's no y. You can't add. So this is a single thing. This is one thing. One expression. So this one expression is 1 by 1. 1 by 1. I think 1 by 1 here. Now that we have 1 by 1 here, we also have 1 by 1 here. We can equate the two to become an equation. So I'm going to write 3 plus 3y is equal to 9. 3 plus 3y is equal to 9 as an equation. This is a linear equation. We can now solve it. On my left hand side here, I've got two terms. Now my interest is just to remain with the term that has got y or variable. This one here should go on the other side. In short, I'm saying collection of like terms. So here it will just be 3y is equal to, write this 9 here. You see that? Then look at this 3 here. This side, it is positive, positive 3. When it crosses the equal sign, it changes its sign. It becomes negative or minus. So since this is positive, when it goes to this side here, it will be minus 3. Then I'll say 3y is equal to 6 when I subtract. Divide by 3 on both sides so that you remain with y. Also, this side. Cancel this. What will be your y? How many 3s are in 6? So 3 here, 1, 3 here, 2. So your value of y is 2. I hope you have learned. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.